Good evening. Tonight's lesson is going to be about special days. Special days. And it's taken from Exodus 28 through 11. So when we think about special days, what is your favorite day or special day of the year? What do you think, what is considered your favorite day of the year? Now, most of the time when people talk about their favorite day of the year, most of the time people say their birthday. They say their birthday or they say Christmas or a holiday like the 4th of July or Easter. Sometimes their favorite day of the year might be the year, day they got married. It might be the day they got a job. Um, anything could be a reason why you have a favorite day. But one thing about a favorite day of the year, you always remember it and it usually is special and it has some meaning to you. Today we're going to continue talking about the Ten Commandments and speak specifically about the Fourth Commandment. As we read the scripture, keep the following in mind. When we say Sabbath, Sabbath comes from the word rest or time out from work. And when we say the word holy, holy means to be dedicated to a special purpose. Okay? So keep those terms in mind. So I want you to take some time using your Bible to read Exodus 20 verses 8 through 11. Again, I want you to read Exodus 20 verses 8 through 11. As you read, look at the video and consider these questions. First question, how were God's people supposed to act differently on the Sabbath? That's how. Next question, why? were people supposed to act differently on the seventh? So first you're gonna tell me how they act differently, and then you're gonna tell me why they act differently. Finally, how do you think the Sabbath helped the people? Remember, Sabbath means rest. So go ahead and take a minute, pause the video, so that you can read Exodus 20 and eight through 11, and then pause it so that you can answer these questions. Okay, the next question, the first question says, how were God's people supposed to act differently on the Sabbath? Did you come up with they were supposed to rest and keep the Sabbath holy? That's what the Bible says. So how they were supposed to act, they were supposed to rest and keep the Sabbath holy. Next, why were people supposed to act differently on the Sabbath? So why were they resting and keeping the Sabbath holy? They were supposed to act differently because it was the Lord's day, because it's a special day. On special days, you do special things. And, one of, and because the Sabbath was a special day, they did the, that's the reason why they did things differently. And this, it was special because it was the Lord's day. So how do you think the Sabbath helped people, help the people? Well, your answers may vary. Um, you might say the Sabbath helps people to take time and not, not, not um, overwork their body. The Sabbath, um, because you rest. The Sabbath also helps people because it gives you time to really focus on God. You're not so busy with trying to make a living or busy with your family you actually set, a time, set aside time every week to solely give your energy to God. So those are some of the answers that you might have had. Next, we want you to read Mark 16, uh, verses 2 through 6. After you've read it, answer the following question. Well, it says, Christians aren't commanded in the New Testament to celebrate the Sabbath but we do have something to celebrate and remember. So we, the previous scripture in Exodus talks about remembering the Sabbath and keep it holy. Well, as Christians, we don't keep the Sabbath anymore, which is the last day of the week, so that would be Saturday. We don't keep the Sabbath, but we do have something that we do celebrate and remember every week. And so read Mark 16, two through six, so that you can answer this question. Why do most Christians call Sunday the Lord's day? 
Again, why do most Christians call Sunday the Lord's Day? Pause the video right now so that you can read Mark 16, 2 through 6, and you can answer the question. Okay, so why do most Christians call Sunday the Lord's Day? Well, most Christians call Sunday the Lord's Day because this is the day that Jesus rose from the grave. We know that he died on Friday evening and he rose on Sunday morning. And he died and was crucified and rose again for the remission of, for, the, for our sins. So as a result of Jesus Christ dying and then eventually coming back to life and being raised from the dead and coming back to life, because of that, we have salvation. So that's why most Christians celebrate, call Sunday the Lord's Day and celebrate Sunday because it's the day that Jesus rose from the grave. Okay, so now we're going to read Acts 20 and, and verse 7. And here we see an example of the early Christians coming together on Sunday. And of course, this, this is, would be the first day of the week. And the reason why they come together and and pray we call the Lord's Day because Jesus rose on Sunday. So the question is, what did they do when they did? What did they do? What did the early Christians do when they came together on Sunday? So go ahead and pause the tape so that you can read and find out what they did. Okay, so what did the early Christians do? What did the early Christians do? So according to Acts 20 and verse 7, they gathered, they had communion, which it says they broke bread, and they listened to Paul preach. So it's very similar to the things that we do on Sunday. We gather together, we, con we congregate, we um, have a communion, we break bread, and we listen to Brother Ross preach. So the same thing that Christians did way back in the Bible, we still do it to this day. So as we close, I want you to keep these things in mind. The Jews celebrated the Sabbath, whereas Christians celebrate the Lord's Day. The Sabbath was for the Jews. It was the last day of the week, so it was Saturday, and it was a part of the law. It was part of God's law where he, asked, he called for the Jews to rest and to keep the day holy. Christians, on the other hand, and which is what we are, we celebrate uh, our celebratory day and our day of celebration is Sunday, the first day of the week. And we celebrate it because that's the day Jesus rose from the dead and it's also in remembrance of Jesus. So both of the days are very, very important and they're both, day, they're both of the days are days that we have uh, Christians and Jews um, respect. So please keep that in mind. And let's treat Sunday like a special day. Sunday should be a special day. Just like your birthday is special, Sunday should be special. And why are they special? Because of Jesus. All right. Well, I will see y'all next week, Lord, well, Lord willing.